good y'all and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys Now in today's video as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail And you guys can already tell, uh, you know what I'm saying, by the setting And that 5.0 growling in the back I'm not gonna say screaming because it ain't screaming yet but it's growling Um, we are in the staying today uh, you know what I'm saying? I thought I might as well go ahead and give you guys a quick little POV. Nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way to school. I'm at 651 um, miles on the break-in miles. So, like I said, um, you know what I'm saying? In previous videos, if you guys are new to the channel, um, instead of doing the 400 break-in miles, uh, which is the minimum that Nick's Grady says that you guys should do uh, when breaking in your clutch, I decided that I am going to do 1,600 miles instead of 1,500, which is the max that Nick Sweaty said, just because I want to be 100% sure that, you know what I'm saying, everything is good, um, and just, you know, babying it for 100 extra miles isn't going to hurt anybody, and it will take me a long way, um, and there's a couple things that I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, regarding the staying coming modifications that I do and I wanted to hear you guys' opinion on them. So let's go ahead and flip the camera over. I know it's a little bumpy. I'm sorry. Again, still on the iPhone. Um, almost done with the move and everything, settling in and stuff like that. So I should be able to find my batteries soon, um, but if I don't find them uh, within the week, I'm probably just going to go ahead and buy some more because a couple extra batteries wouldn't hurt anybody, right? So like I was saying, guys, we are currently at 652 miles on the break-in. I went ahead and reset my trip one um, whenever we put the clutch in. Uh, that way I can let the car count the miles for me and not just going off of adding 1,600 miles to however many miles I had on the odometer at the time. Now, with that being said, you guys, <sighs> So we have the stage four twin disc clutch in this car. We also have the upgraded throw out bearing slash slave cylinder in this car. Um, but we still have the stock shifter. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, like Ford's throws aren't terrible. Don't get me wrong, like, like that second, that's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but every second counts with racing. You know what I'm saying? every second so if i can save like half a second in between shifts just by you know upgrading to a short throw shifter i definitely uh think it's a must a uh, good move in in doing i'm gonna be honest with you guys so with that being said there's a couple options on the market right now there is the hearst short throw shifter there's the NGW, if I'm not mistaken, short throw shifter. And then there's also the Barton short throw shifter. Now, I know there's a lot uh, more. There's also a Ford Performance Racing short throw shifter, but no. <laughs> no, anything that got Ford on it, I'm sorry. As far as me buying it to replace a stock part, I'm not going to go with no Ford part to replace a stock part as far as upgrading it no matter what it is i'm sorry i'm good um i'd rather just buy an aftermarket part so with that being said i'm not going to be using the ford performance short throw shifter um but oh look got a stain brother i see you got the carbon fiber deck lid okay okay clean clean anyway um i'm not gonna be doing the ford i can't lie but i am torn between um, the Barton and the NGW. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I've heard nothing but great reviews about the NGW, and I've heard mixed reviews about the Barton. And I'm not even gonna cap, um, you know, people have said that, you know, with the older style stangs, the Barton short throw shifter was terrible, like on the Fox body, the New Edge, um, and the early S197, so like 2010, 2011, um, they said that the Barton short throw shifters were trash. Um, 
I guess they just weren't built durable or whatever the case may be. I'm not sure. But I've heard that the S550 version is just like the NGW. You know what I'm saying? And wow, wow. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he just ran the red light last minute. That's crazy. Like, it wasn't even like it was a green light and then turn red. No, like his... He didn't even have the right away. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 interesting. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, it's crazy. I caught that on the vlog. It's crazy. Like driving in Houston, bro. You see a lot, man. You peep a lot. People in Houston cannot drive, bro. Everybody who lives outside of Houston and comes into Houston, you know what I'm saying? And they drive. Like if they bring their car or they get a rental car, they all tell me the same thing, bro. Ji, you're not capping, bro. People in Houston not drive this is ridiculous like it, it is bro it, it really is people slam on their brakes for no reason when nobody's in front of them people go when they're not supposed to people drive slow as hell trying to rubberneck and watch uh you know other things that's going on on the road instead of watching the actual road ahead of them you know what i'm saying they want to watch everything else so we have a lot of bad drivers out here so we definitely do see a lot of crazy stuff like this dude right here oh i thought he was gonna try to go ahead and get in front of me i ain't even gonna lie that's some stuff that they would do <laughs> keeping it a buck you feel me going that slow too no cap not gonna speed up no they're gonna stay that slow that speed and get in front of you um but as you guys can see man merging onto the freeway definitely got some clouds they say it's supposed to rain today um i've been loving that garage life i can't i don't know if you guys can tell by the hood but this thing is shining right now you feel me that black paint is just dancing right now that garage life is crazy i washed my car like four days ago bro and it looks like i just washed it yesterday it's insane um <laughs> it really is but anyway um back to the short throw shifters man i know i kind of drifted off uh topic but yeah man i'm I'm torn between the NGW joint and the Barton because I heard that the Barton is pretty good on the S550 and uh, you know what I'm saying it's not people aren't really complaining about the Barton short throw shifter on the S550 platform and you know as you guys know this is the main weak point of this car the transmission it is literally the weakest point of this car so I've been doing everything in my power other than you know, getting the transmission itself built um, to, you know, I guess prepare it for the power that I want to throw at it and, you know, just make sure that it's actually going to be reliable and daily drivable for the power that I am hoping to squeeze out of this little 5.0. I ain't even going to lie to you guys. I think I might end up going with the Barton just seeing how it feels um because i noticed that they also make a reverse lockout if you guys don't know you know what i'm saying these cars have a lockout which is this right here um you pull it up and then you're able to go all the way over and go into reverse without pulling that collar up you'll just be going into first every time you won't get into reverse my boy versatile speed i know he's gonna hate me in the comments for this one but my boy versatile speed was supposed to take the car to the store he spent majority of the time in the parking lot trying to put the car in reverse then going to the store <laughs> so yeah man um i i noticed that barton you know what i'm saying they they actually make the uh reverse lockout as well and it's made out of um i believe they said uh, billet steel or something like that um, So It's hella durable You know what I'm saying They have two options They have the black And then they have the It's not really a chrome piece But it's like an aluminum piece So it kind of looks like the stock one um, I personally am going to go with the black one for sure Because the black is going to match What I have coming for the interior of this car I'm not going to get into it too much Y'all know me If you guys have been you know what I'm saying? A part of the channel for a while, part of the JI squad for a while. Then you know I'm very big on the interior of the car. You know what I'm saying? The interior is very important to me just because you spend literally majority of your time in the interior of your car. I like to keep my interiors clean. I like to keep them simple, but I like to have them, you know what I'm saying, be tasteful at the same time. 
So with that being said, I got some stuff coming for the interior of this car to definitely transform it and take it from the ugly form that it's at and to the next level, you know what I'm saying? But for the shifter, as far as the shifter goes, I really think I might end up going with the Barton, but I've been come, I wanted to come on here and you know get you guys' opinion, see what you guys are running on your Mustangs um, or even your Camaros. Um, you know what I'm saying? Whatever manual you got, I just want to see what short throw shifter you guys are running. How do you guys like it? What company did you go with? Why did you end up going with that company over the rest of them? You know what I'm saying? And just, just let me know, you know, if it's your daily driver or even your race car. Did you see a big difference in the travel to get in a gear or was it just not worth it? You know what I'm saying? I just want to know because I don't want to go into this. I'm technically going to, into this, you know, blind. Uh, you know, I've never really had a uh, manual as my daily, you know what I'm saying? So all of this is new to me. So I really, you know, actually want to know you guys' opinions, see what you guys are running, see what you guys like, um, see what you guys have ran, what setups you've done, um, and what's worked for you guys, you know, and maybe I can take that and incorporate it into my own setup and see, you know, how it's gonna work best for me now with that being said if i do say i do get the barton short door shifter and i don't like it you know what i'm saying then i'll just take it off the car either raffle it off to one of you guys uh via the merch or i'll just you know go ahead and say f it you know what i'm saying and just give it away you know like literally just give it away you don't even have to get new merch just give it away and then i'll get the ngw um run that for a while see how i like that setup i'll probably wait to give away the barton um until i confirm that i don't like uh that i like the ngw more than the barton and then i'll just end up giving away one of the short throw shifters man so either way it go you guys can have the chance to win a brand new short throw shifter for this s5 your s550 just off of the muscle of you guys watching the videos man uh, so <laughs> that's that's a very expensive deal. I can't even lie. You know, you're getting a very expensive part for free, literally, because all you have to do is watch the videos, make sure you're tapping in with the merch page. You know what I'm saying on Instagram and tapping in with the channel. Have the post notifications turned on and are subscribed, man. We are on the road to 3K, bro. We are at 2,730 right now. Okay, got the Mazda riding on the candy. Okay, not really candy, really burgundy type, but got the Mazda riding on the red wheels? Okay, don't see that every day. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? We are at 2,730 subscribers right now as the channel sits while I'm making this video. We are so close to 3K, I can almost like see it every time I look at my page. So with that being said, man, if you haven't already, bro, please, just do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because every video that I got coming towards you guys is a banger in some way, for form or shape. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be sitting here, you know, watching no BS, watching something that's not entertaining uh, on this channel, at least. You know what I'm saying? I do my best with each and every video to make it entertaining for you guys so that you guys, uh, you know, stick around, watch the whole video through and uh you know come back for the next one man honestly so with all that being said man that's actually gonna go ahead and wrap up this video if you guys are new to the channel man do your boy a favor smash that subscribe button like i just said um go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you're ready for this cardi oh another brother man y'all see see the stings oh see watch me finesse this uh, i appreciate you big dog i i really appreciate you <laughs> I appreciate you, big dog. But anyway, um, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are ready to see the Mexico content. Because as soon as, don't mind the interior. That's why I got the seats now right now. I let my dog in the car for the first time ever, and I regret it. I really do. But anyway, I'm building this transmission because I'm telling y'all, I'm going to be running the hell out of this car. And with it being a weak point, you know what I'm saying? I thought I might as well go ahead and build it, like I said earlier in the video. So let me know now uh, by going ahead and smashing that like button if you guys are excited for 
the racing content that I'm gonna bring you guys with this car. Like I'm talking about drag strips, I'm talking about Mexico meets, I'm talking about all of that. We're gonna be running this joint for sure, man. This little 5.0. <laughs> We're gonna see what it got. You feel me? We're gonna we really gonna push it to the limits, man. And uh we're gonna go from there. Now with that being said, like I said, damn bro, shit. Like I said earlier, man, they can't drive, man. Let me go ahead and close this video out. But sure, before somebody mess around crash into me, bro. No bullshit. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash that subscribe button again. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what short throw shift you guys are running, man, because I'm really interested, like for real, for real. Also, let me know what you guys think about the POV, man. You know, you guys want more POV videos, more like ride along type videos, because um, I could definitely go ahead and get a GoPro and start getting into getting those POV videos for you guys, for real, for real. So y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys would be interested to see and i would definitely do my best to make it happen but with all that being said man that's it for this one i will see you guys in the next one peace